I'm going to demonstrate how to compile a program from source code in Linux. It surprises me how many people I meet who use Linux that don't know how to do this. They're all using Ubuntu, which therefore is not required, but still compiling from source is a basic uh, skill that anyone using Linux really should be familiar with. And it is very simple. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to compile a program called LAME. It's a GPL uh, program that is a uh, MP3 encoder. And I've already downloaded it onto the computer here. First off, we have to go uh, become root. Uh, in Ubuntu, I know you just type in sudo and then your command. But in this case, since we're using Slackware, we're going to type in su, enter, and then the... Uh, the root password. Okay, and we know we're in root because we have the pound sign there on our command line. And of course, you can do this in a, uh, a terminal program. I, I happen to be doing it on the actual command line, but you can also open up a terminal program on your Linux, which gives you the command line. Okay, we're going to hit less, and we see there's a program here called lame. 3.99.5.tar.gz okay, That's also called a tarball. And here's how we unpack it. It's similar to a zip, if you didn't know. And here's how we unpack. We type in tar space dash zxvf and then lame. You can put in the wild card star there and hit enter. Okay, now it's unpacked. If we use our ls command, we see a folder there called lame-3.99.5. Okay, we change directory into that. And we can just use a wildcard again to make it easier. Okay, and then we do our ls command. And this particular program is, uh, is what we call a make or, or auto make. Uh, program. It's very simple. Uh, certainly you should read the, you'll look, you'll see an install full file there. And there's almost always a readme file. You certainly should read the install and the readme. But in this particular situation we don't need to because we know it's just a standard uh, it's a standard uh, make and we know that because we look through the the files and we see a file file called configure and that tells us what exactly what we need to do. And that is, we type, we type in that dot slash and then type in configure. Hit enter. And this will take a, a minute or two because what the computer does is it checks through and makes sure it has all the proper programs it needs to compile. And it's this program will tell us if we need other programs uh, to run this program. And of course I chose lame because it doesn't require any other programs. Okay, it, it ended without any errors and if there's an error it would definitely let you know. But there's no errors. So next step is to type make. You make it eat. Hit enter. And now it goes through. Uh, this is where it's actually compiling the program from the source code and if there are any errors it will definitely let us know and this this could take you know, five ten minutes so we're not gonna sit and and watch this I will be back shortly hi I'm back and it took about five minutes for this program to compile some take a lot longer I've had programs take up to an hour or so to compile but this was a small library. One of the reasons I chose it to chose it for my demonstration. Now we know the the make process uh, compiled successfully. We know that because it ended and there are no errors. You'll know if there's a problem because it'll say error. Now the final step is to simply type in make install which installs the programs to the where they're supposed to be on the computer so they'll run properly. Make install hit enter and there it just puts it where it needs to go and 
no errors, we're done. It's that simple. The program will run perfectly now. Now, this particular way of compiling from source code at one point was the most common. Now there are other methods of doing it. Uh, CMake, for example. And we'll deal with those in a different video. I just wanted to show the the basic way of compiling from source here, just to show how simple it is. Now if you want to uninstall the program, also very simple, type make, and you'd have, you'll have to go back to you know this, this folder. You type make uninstall, and there it goes through and uninstalls everything, and then to further clean it up, you type make clean. And there it is, uninstalled. And that is how simple it is to compile a program in Linux uh, from source code.